So, the last couple of weeks have been quite eventful. A lot happened, so I thought I'll sit down and explain. First of all, Miles and I went to Barcelona for my birthday. While we were there, we went on a Swedish ship, which is a replica of an original ship from hundreds of years ago. Um, and it was absolutely fantastic because it is in working order. It is moored in Barcelona for the winter. Um, we know all about winter mooring locations and they've got a pretty good one. However, it is going to go to China in spring, which is very exciting. This vessel is a reconstruction of an original ship that belonged to East India Company. The original ship only had three voyages and it strangely sunk approaching her home harbour in West Sweden, running aground with a crash. The sinking is veiled in mystery as the weather was fine that day and the underwater rock was familiar to all sailors. Did you go put the fire on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah please. Put the mooring pins in. Yeah, it's all done. It's what you use when someone nicks your mooring. Ship cannons were very expensive. On warships, these items were sometimes more expensive than the ship itself. Even though the cannons were for defence, their real use had more ceremonial character, such as firing a salute, which was done by firing blanks without ammunition. Sounds like a clock. In former times, this vessel was home to 140 men, living and working on board for up to two years at a time. This makes our narrowboat feel like a spacious mansion. It's got a pair of over Penta engines. And how do you hear that? So pink worth 300 million it's uh, 110 meters long and the annual running costs are a measly 20 to 30 million a year we also went on a hike to a place outside of Barcelona that is called Montserrat if I pronounce it correctly probably not um, which was absolutely incredible I loved the nature and the stone there, the mountains were very different. Um, they were very soft around, which is not something I've ever seen before in my entire life. So it was incredible to see it. Montserrat Mountain had religious significance even before Christ, when a temple was built here by the Romans to worship Venus. The first mention of the monastery goes back to 888, and it is still the destination of pilgrimages today. The monastery grew strong because of the miracles of the Virgin of Montserrat statue located inside. And finally, on my birthday, Miles and I went to a church there that is called Sagrada Familia, uh, one of the most famous churches 
in the world. It is being built for over 100 years and it is still unfinished. They don't know when it's going to be finished, but they think that it's going to be finished around 2030. You're up in the sky. Exploring inside the Basilica was on my list for a few years, as I've been to Barcelona before, but only seen it facades. The setting sun hit one of the colored glass walls, transforming the light and the whole atmosphere inside. The columns represent the trees, so walking through Basilica felt like walking through a forest at sunset. When we came back on Alba, we had an unpleasant surprise. We had a mooring ticket on the boat, which is kind of like a parking ticket. Um, and not because we didn't pay. What we realized is that the rules of winter mooring that were there last year winter has changed and the information that we got from the boaters who stayed here in winter no longer applies to this season so last winter the rule was in the winter months so i would say maybe november till march or so when it's not busy and there are plenty of spaces which is now as long as you pay for mooring a weekly fee you don't have to move that is one of the reasons why we decided to stay here However, this year they have uh, changed it or reverted back to the previous, I'm not sure what exactly, but so the rule now is uh, you pay for two weeks and then you need to move away for a week and then you can come back um, again for another two weeks, which we didn't know about and we overstayed. So we ended up moving to the other side of Henley, so we cruised uh, through the bridge and it was quite an early morning move Good morning Morning Where are we going? To the other side of Henley Hi Because they find us twice We stayed on the other side with a completely different view so that was beautiful we enjoyed the move we enjoyed being in a different place although we actually did move very far and once spending some time there spending a week there we've moved to our current place um, in Henley so that's been the latest it is a tough uh, way to find out about the rules but now we know <laughs> Now we know. It raised some questions for us whether we want to stay here for winter or not so that's the latest. In winter, we need a consistent supply of coal and diesel, 
and on the canal it's very easy because there's generally a canal boat that goes and sells you and you don't have to carry it most of the time however on the river we don't really know if there is one does it run in winter and all that stuff so today Miles is going by car to the nearest marina he's going to get coal there and then he's going to drive up next to the boat and I will meet him with our trusted trolley and bring coal and hopefully kindling if he can get some maybe gas um, and bring it all back to Alba. Got through the bridge, that's the tough bit. I mean, look, we're barely moving. Might have been a bit ambitious with this. Are we still on red boards? We are still on red boards, <laughs> but we're out of water. <laughs> barely moving. It's not as bad as that time when we tried to join the K&A though. Um, but yeah. Things we do for water, hey? I told you we should have been drinking beer instead. The reason we're in the car is because I have a course in London today, this morning, and yesterday I checked the trains and we are on the rail strike again. Um, but luckily, um, from the nearby village, the trains are running, so Mars is kind of giving me a lift to Twyford so I can make make my course in London. Well, we're going away this weekend and it has been dry for the last two days, two and a half days, would you say? Yeah. Um, we have been on yellow board and now we we are on red board, but I think we're about to come off of red board. All the other signs are coming off red board. Anyway, it's going to rain tonight and it's going to rain tomorrow and we are out of water. So I went outside this morning just to see how bad it was and how quick the flow was to see if we could move so we could get closer to water. Needless to say, we risked it and went for it. I didn't tell Marina, I just went for it. I turned the boat round first and <laughs> we were drifting sideways quite a bit. We did it though. It was, it was uh, calm but really fast flowing or fairly fast flowing. Um, we did about 2,000 RPM. Um, and barely going a walking pace. Although it wasn't the worst time. Would you do it again? Or was that? A... Would I do it again? <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, it's a nice gauge. <laughs> nice to gauge it. But we shouldn't make a habit of moving on the reds. No. That's not what we do. But it's probably easier to go up river than down river. Don't you think? You probably wouldn't go on the reds down river through that bridge. I don't know, tricky question. I don't know. I don't know, they're both a bit daft to do. Thank you all so much for watching. Welcome to all the new subscribers. We are so grateful that you found our channel. Please click the like button to let YouTube know that you're enjoying our films. Check out our organic shop on cruisingalba.com for ethically made clothes or join our Patreon family to receive stickers and handmade cards from us. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.